دكتور معصومة أبادر جواد. She's a doctor and lecturer in the Department of English, College of Education for Human Sciences. General major is linguistics, and specialist one is or special one is the critical pragmatics. The scope of interest is stylistics, critical discourse analysis, and critical pragmatics. She has four published papers: critical pragmatic analysis of women oppression, the pragmatics of slogans and cards. Uh, and a critical discourse analysis of oppression uh, in To Kill a Mockingbird, the Pragmatics of Slogans and Cars, a stylistic study of English Catholic dead or death prayers. Uh, her her uh, paper is entitled uh, A Stylistic Rhetorical Analysis of Reformation in Imam al Hussein Selected War Speeches. Yes, uh, the paper of my, uh, the title of my paper is uh, A Stylistic Rhetorical Analysis of Imam Hussein Reformation in Selected War Speeches. Well, uh, this study investigates the use of different rhetorical and stylistic strategies used by Imam Hussein, peace upon him, in some of his uh, speeches before and within Karbala's battle. Uh, the main aims of this study is uh, to reveal the impact of the use of uh, these uh, stylistic and rhetorical strategies and how uh, Imam Hussein uses these stylistic and rhetorical strategies for influencing his audience and to uh, help them to reform themselves. So uh, the main aim of Imam Hussein was to reform his audience religiously, politically, socially, uh, and culturally, and uh, in every possible way. So the data of this study is uh, Imam Hussein war speeches uh, before going to Karbala when he was in Medina, and uh, in Karbala when he was going to fight against, uh, against his enemies in the battle. Uh, he has two speeches in Karbala. So, uh, Three speeches will be, uh, I have analyzed the three speeches to find out how Imam Hussein uses different rhetorical and stylistic strategies for reforming uh, his enemies. Actually, he did not hate those enemies. He wanted to reform them. He wanted to change them to be better. Yes, uh, so uh, this study hypothesized that Imam Hussein uses these uh, rhetorical strategies of ethos, pathos, logos, he uses them. Uh, and the ethos is related to the morality side. Uh, pathos is related to side related to the passions, emotions. And logos is related to what is related to reason and to mind, to uh, rationality. So he uses these strategies. Uh, beside, he uses some stylistic strategies to help him in order to, uh, to influence his audience, uh, to, help, uh, to help them to change themselves, and maybe they will change their mind and, and will stop standing for the injustice and will fight with him against Yazid. Yes, so he uses stylistic strategies of uh, linguistic deviation and linguistic parallelism. Well, before anything, uh, stylistics, uh, uh, re uh, firstly, rhetorical study or rhetorics deals mainly with the effective strategies used by uh, a speaker in order to influence his audience. While stylistics deal with the how also stylistics is somehow is related to rhetorics. Stylistic deals with the, how people create uh, creative text and how they use different types of deviation linguistic deviation, phonetic, grammatical, uh, uh, and uh, how they use parallelism and other types of devices in order to uh, influence or impact the audience. Yes, so Imam Hussein uses these strategies in order to influence his audience. Yes, uh, the main concept of this study is reformation. Reformation uh, deals with the trying is the process of changing people or the society into a better one. It is the process of uh, helping people 
to change their lives, to improve them. And it's a social one. It can be political one, religious one, cultural one. Yes. Uh, so. Yes. The methodology of this study. Yes, this study follows, uh, of course, I followed a qualitative method of analysis. And this study is based on our, our total classification of ethos, patho, uh, pathos, and logos. It is also based on Leach 1969 model, a classification of linguistic deviation, and also a short classification of linguistic parallelism. Yes, this is the model of my study. And I have analyzed three texts, just like I have said before. The first text is by Imam Hussein. Uh, the, uh, the first speech, Imam Hussein's speech, night, uh, uh, sorry, Imam Hussein's speech the uh, in the night of his departure from Mecca in Saudi Arabia to Kufa in Iraq. And it is a start with Alhamdulillah, wa masha'Allah, wa la quwwata illa billah, khutta al-mawt ala waladi Adam, wa khutta al-qiladati ala jid al-fatat, wa ma awlahani ila aslafi ishtiaq Yaquba ila Yusuf. And uh, to the end of this speech, this is the first speech, uh, and I have and I have, I have attempted to uh, to I have tried to find out how Imam Hussein uses ethos, pathos, and logos in this speech. Okay, for example, Imam Hussein uses uh, in his uh, firstly logo strategy by trying to show people that death is the natural end for every human being. So when we are supposed to die at the end. So let us die for a real cause. So he's trying firstly to use ration and rationality to convince them. Then he uses also, he uses uh, different types of parallelism and different types of deviation. Parallelism, it means uh, the use of repetition, the use of the same words or the use of the words with the same grammatical structure in order to influence the audience. For example, Alhamdulillah, wa masha'Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. You can see that they are parallel structures. And also he uses deviation. For example, he uses simile sometimes. He uses uh, rhetorical questions. For example, asking them questions that they already know their, its answer. He uses uh, personification, he uses intertextuality. Imam Hussein uses a lot of Quranic verses in order to convince his ideas. So all of these are what are stylistic strategies, right? Yes, so this is, first he uses ethos strategies, then he uses in the same speech, pathos strategies by trying to appeal to their emotions. Uh, okay, for example, through anticipating the way he will be killed. So he, he show us how he will be killed by saying that So he's trying to use, to uh, appeal to their emotions, okay? Uh, rather than the rational side. Yes, so he also uses deviation by using metaphor through referring to those who will kill him uh, and uh, using animal, showing that how the animals will kill him, will eat of his flesh after his death. So this is what, this is imagery. Yes, okay. So the second, sorry. Yes, the second speech is uh, the analysis of the second speech, Imam Hussein's speech in Ashura's day, while he was fighting the, ar the army that was sent against him. Now this is the second speech. The second speech starts with, with أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِسْمَعُوا قَوْلِي وَلَا تَعْجَلُوا حَتَّى عَضَكُمْ بِمَا يَحَقُّ عَلَيَّ لَكُمْ وَحَتَّى أُعْذَرُ إِلَيْكُمْ Yes, so uh, here he used also different uh, rhetorical strategies. Uh, for example, he uses فَأَنْسُبُونِي وَأَنْظُرُوا مَنْ أَنَا ثُمَّ أَرْجُعُوا إِلَى أَنْفُسُكُمْ وَعَاتِبُوهَا فَأَنْظُرُوا هَلْ يَصْلَحُ لَكُمْ قَتْلِي وَانْتَهَاكُ حُرْمَتِي Here he's using what? He's using rationality. Ask yourself, is it possible to kill? the grandson uh, of the messenger or the prophet Muhammad, this is what, this is uh, uh, logo strategy. He's talking to, to them rationally, okay? He also uses her ethos strategy heavily by uh, trying to show them the moral aspect that this is not mor morally possible. Yes, in the third speech, 
Imam Hussein, yes. In the third speech, Imam Hussein was really angry of those people because they really decided to kill Imam Hussein and they did not change their mind a little bit. So he was angry of them. And he starts with that. تَبَنْ لَكُمْ أَيُّهَا الْجَمَاعَةُ وَتَرْحَى وَبُؤْسًا لَكُمْ وَتَعْسَى حِينَ اسْتَصْرَخْتُمُونَ وَالِهِينَ فَأَصْرَخْنَاكُمْ مُجِفِينَ فَشَحَدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا سَيْفًا كَانَ فِي أَيْدِينَا So here in this speech, Imam Hussein uses mainly uh, patho, patho strategy, because he was really angry and he was trying to show his emotions. Yes, and he also uses different stylistic strategies within these three stages of ethos, pathos, and logo. He uses different stylistic strategies like uh, uh, intertextuality, interdiscursivity, by using different Quranic verses. Yes, and finally, coming to the conclusions, uh, the study concludes that Imam Hussein uses different rhetorical strategies that are ethos, pathos, and logos for achieving the impact uh, and also uses stylistic strategies for reforming people. Yes, Imam Hussein uses uh, uh, yes, Imam Hussein uses stylistic strategies of syntactic parallelism by using parallel structures. He uses also lexical parallelism, especially repetition and uh, parallel lexical items for achieving the impact related to logos, pathos, and ethos strategies to convince people to follow the right path and stand against injustice. Yes, and that is all what I have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nikola Masoma, for such a presentation.